Welcome, Utah Fly Corner. Let me show you how to tie an October elk hair caddis. This is the fly here. It's basically uh, it's an elk hair caddis design, just using some different materials. Uh, let me show you how to tie it. It's a pretty effective fall fly. Uh, floats great. Let's can get it around. Everybody knows elk hair caddises are effective. But this one's going to be a size 10 because October caddises are quite large. Um, they have a black head on them, so I'm going to be using black thread, uh, black uni A dot. Start that up at the eye. Take tight wraps back to about midway on the shank. Now, a piece of foam. This is just uh, uh, regular old craft foam they buy from the buy from craft stores. You can pick it up for fly time, but from uh, fly shops, but it's pretty much just craft foam cut in smaller pieces um, and marked up drastically. But I basically just cut a thin slice. Uh, it's only maybe two mil, two mil thick. I just catch that on here about midway. Take a couple wraps on it and stop. And I like to I rib the fly with mono. You can rib it with wire. Um, but I find the mono is just as strong. Catch the mono in, and then we're gonna wrap them back. Just take nice open wraps back. Just make sure that your rib is on your side. Call my rib onto my side, and then just quickly bring the thread back up. Make sure you stop about the hook eyes or two hook eye and a half or so uh, from the eye. We're going to wrap the, the foam. Just make sure that your mono doesn't come around with you. So my mono wants to come around with me on this side. So I'm going to wrap the foam the opposite way then. Right around the thread. It doesn't really matter which way you wrap the foam. Um, just uh, the most important thing is with the rib, you want it to be on your side so that way you can catch catch the catch the hackle in to tie it off. But just tie that down, bend and break it off. Now I'm gonna tie my hackle. We're gonna palmer the hackle. I'm using a um, saddle hackle off of a uh, whiting uh, uh, Herbert Miner uh, whiting saddle. Uh, Herbert Mining Miner Saddles uh, have phenomenal uh, dry fly hackle. Stuff stiff as anything, and uh, comes in a. Uh, uh, generally, the hackle sizes are in the larger side, um, so it's excellent for tying uh, larger dry flies. Um, but I caught that in um, with the underside of the feather facing the, facing you, uh, good side of the feather facing me. I'm gonna palmer it. I'm going to take one straight wrap, then I'm going to just palmer it back. Nice open turns. Oop, pop the camera. Seem to do that every video. Then I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to cross with my mono rib, and then I'm going to bring it up. Get to the front. I like to wind it right up to the eye. And then go once around my thread, bring my thread up nice and tight while pulling the mono back, tie it down and off. And you can break that off, and you're all set there with your body. I like to trim these hackles on the top off, get them out of the way, or else when you put the wing on, a lot of hackles get thrown down, and uh, you can make the I don't like the way the flies look at that point. If you do that. Um, now the deer arrow I'm going to use is uh, October caddis have have more of a of a tan. I mean a uh, uh, dun colored wing, a gray. Um, so what I did was I I dyed some deer hair dun. Um, the color combo seems to be uh, pretty pretty effective. Uh, but cut off a sizable clump. I'm uh, cleaning the hair 
out the under hairs uh, over top of my waste basket here. Try to minimize the mess. Uh, I take my little fur comb and get out any of those hairs uh, sitting underneath that I wasn't able to get out. I'm going to stack it. You don't, you don't generally need to stack them. I mean, the fish don't care if the the hairs all line up. Um, but if you want it to look pretty for uh, other fishermen and so forth, you you stack them. But believe me, if you just throw the hair on there, um, stop stacking it. It's gonna it's gonna catch just as many fish as one that's been stacked. But just kind of a rough stack. Nothing too uh too fancy. Now we wanna that's the length of the body. We want it one and a half past. And I pinch it very tight, got my fingers right right where I'm gonna tie on, hold it as close to the shank as possible, bring one loose wrap over, start to tighten it up as you bring the second one over. And tighten them up. I go three on the same spot, and then three real quick, right through. And I push these guys that twisted over towards me. It looks like a process, but it's easily corrected the mess. You push those over towards you, lift them up. Get a bunch of wraps on the shank here. Stand those guys up, and I grab them. Come in here and snip them off nice and close. Anybody that's out of order. Now, if your wing's standing up like that, you know it'll it'll work fine standing up like that. Um, but I don't care for it to be standing up like that. So I I grab the fibers and I push them in, causing it to bend in the front here. And just work them back. One wild hair there. Any ones that you don't like, you can always just break them off or cut them off. Any ones that got stuck in your hackle on the side, just simply fluff them out. Get your wing to sit the way you want it. Then just wrap over, your, wrap over those cut ends a little bit and just make yourself a head. Your heads don't have to be neat with these. Fish, uh, fish aren't going to be uh, judgmental if you have a neat head or not. Just your uh, fellow fly fishermen that are looking at your flies are going to be judgmental, but if it catches fish, that's all that matters. Well, that's uh, let's see, uh, October elk hair caddis uh, done with dyed deer hair, uh, but that's uh, what the pattern's called. But uh, it's a simple tie, uh, nothing out of the usual. Uh, floats great with the foam on there, the hack on the deer hair. It's a great floater. Uh, skitter's great. Um, holds up great, fish after fish. And if you want it to sit a little bit better in the film and not ride so high, you can come in with your scissors and trim out the middle, kind of making a V-hackle on the bottom. Uh, that'll cause it to nestle down in the film a little bit better. Uh, but I'm going to leave this one fully hackled. But Thanks for watching. Uh, check me out on my blog at www.utahsflycorner.blogspot.com. Hope you enjoyed that.